Another day, another pedophile judge outed by Jeremy Hambly and Lou Cola Giovanni. Another degenerate who really should be put up against the wall because pedophiles cannot be rehabilitated. This is a person who attempted to act on his preferences. This is not a, oh, well, he just is attracted to young girls. No, 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 no. He tried to act on it and he got caught. Meet Devin Van Camp, a level two judge from Lethbridge, Alberta, Canada. Canada certainly seems to be giving us quite a number of degenerates, I, I have to say. Thanks, Trudeau. But as Watsy continues to claim this is all misinformation and hide behind excuses of the average age of Magic players is 25, that children should not be left unattended to begin with in the stores, which there's there's a very good point to be made there, and I'll grant them that. It doesn't negate the fact that around 20 people have been outed in the judge program as convicted sex offenders and going off of what I said yesterday in my video. Doing a background check is not going to find all these people, obviously. There are some people who simply have not been caught. And what happens when they are finally caught? After they've been judging, WPN comes in, removes your WPN certification, and there you go. What happens if you have an employee who's not even dealing with Magic the Gathering and Dungeons and Dragons? You lose your certification. Now, it's not that they're going to check up on you. They have to be given a tip. They have to be told that there is somebody on the staff of the criminal record. And then they come in and there's going to be absolutely no pity from Watsi when they, when they find out about your dastardly employees. But Devin Van Camp has been found to be attempting to solicit sex from a 13-year-old girl. There's his ugly mug. That's coming from somebody with an ugly mug, by the way. And we keep going. We can see that he attempted to change his name to Devin Everest. And I want to make this very clear. I'm not reading this article. If you want to read it, and I encourage you to do so, I will link to it in the description. As we keep going down, we see just how happy he was to declare himself a level one judge. And don't get me wrong, when you become a judge, it's a pretty big thing if you're a huge Magic the Gathering player. I even admitted when I was made a level one judge, I was ecstatic, even though apparently my number couldn't be found in the database, which was really weird because I'm in the database now. And as we go down, we can see some of the stuff he was posting. He was posting on Plenty of Fish, Fling, those types of sites. Here's the video uh, in question of him attempting to meet with a 13-year-old girl. I'm not going to play it because, one, honestly, Jeremy should have the traffic for it. I, I don't even know if Jeremy or Lou plays this, but, you know, whatever. They should have it. I shouldn't. They're the ones who broke this, and they should reap the rewards for what they have done. His ex-girlfriend telling us that he was interested in Lolly, which is pretty much, you know, degenerate porn for the mentally ill of essentially prepubescent girls. How he continued to try and find people to this day. How he's been removed from the judge list. But in 2017, when the judge list was leaked by several people, including yours truly, his name is highlighted here. He was on it at the time. So between then and now, his name was completely removed. And guess what? No. He's not banned, ladies and gentlemen. I can go and look up Van Camp, nothing. Devin, nothing. We'll even try Lethbridge, nothing. He hasn't been banned for this, despite documented evidence of what he was trying to do. 
But Watsy says this isn't an issue. Now, I agree. I agree in part, I should say. It's not this huge hundreds, thousands, millions of people who are sexual predators judging and hanging out with your kids at Friday Night Magic. I will grant you that. But one is too many. And the fact that we haven't seen the majority of people outed on the ban list is very indicative of the mentality Wizards has right now. It's why they continue to hide behind half-assed excuses of the age, the average age of players, of it's the parents' responsibility to monitor their kids. And once again, there's something to be said for that excuse. You should be watching your kids. But we have store owners who are raping the kids in their own store. We have people like Devin Van Camp attempting to solicit sex from minors. And the one good thing about this is that the store that he used to go to, when they found out about this, banned him for life. The community no longer wants him around because he's a goddamn creep. He's playing at other stores, though, because he hasn't been banned. And yet, we're blowing it out of proportion. No, we're not. It's not being blown out of proportion. An unwillingness to actually protect the players is a huge issue. Watsi is attempting to hide behind ignorance of this, and they can't anymore. They haven't been able to do it for months since the first few names were announced and their convictions were made public. Watsi can continue to try to hide and they can try, try to continue to deflect from this issue. It's not going to work. The truth of the matter is, is that Watsi has a problem. One they refuse to answer for. One they refuse to actively try to stop. And that is far more damaging than anything else. Because at the end of the day, this will reflect on every Magic player, every judge, and every WPN certified local gaming store. This is why they're trying to push towards a more digital realm, where they're pushing for Arena at the expense of their card stock, at the expense of the real life product. One, it's easier for them to put out, but two, they can start ignoring stuff like this because... Then there's nothing to talk about. It's not like their judges are going to meet your kids in real life, right? Despite the fact that they'll be able to talk to them in the game. Despite the fact that they'll be able to groom your child over the text in Arena. You think Watsy's going to be watching logs of that? No, nah, there's no way in hell. They're lazy right now. It's not going to get better just because everything's computerized.